Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. So, everyone knows what desktop publishing software does. But most of us are unaware about the purpose of using those tools and features in the software itself. I am here to explain the components of Adobe InDesign in details. In this video, I will highlight what are margins, what is the importance of using margins, how to set the margins. So let's get started. What are margins? Margins is the way of setting space between the content of the document from the edge of the printed material. It creates the pink frame in Adobe InDesign which you can see right now to place all the graphic materials inside the frame and prevent the image or text on your material from being cut off beyond these margins. What is the importance of using margins? Margins are very very important as it decides the first impression of the reader on the page's outlook. Take any book and when you open any page, you will see these spaces in every book. These spaces give reader a break before they start reading the text inside the margins. These spaces also give reader the opportunity to put their thumbs while they are holding the book. Reader can write the notes on the empty spaces. Also, the reader can stable several pages on the empty areas. To sum up, margins are important while designing the publishing document. For example, let's place the Word document file inside the Adobe InDesign. Right now, the size of these margins is 0.5 inch, as you can see on the screen. So let's place the cursor and click on the margins and all the text will be placed inside the margins frame. Seems pretty cool, right? But what if there were no margins at all? Let's remove these margins first and see what happens when we import the Word document back to the Adobe InDesign and let's see the result. Now, you see this page is looking so awful. Even the reader will turn away this page and rather the reader will look for visually appealing booklet. Of course, you wouldn't want to read this page that is located so close to the edges of the page. Also, if your material exceeds the margins, there is a chance that the outcomes of this printed material will show margin errors. Can result in a Bosch product that has important information cut off on the top side of the paper. When you are creating a layout for a flyer, magazine, brochure or even a business card, it's extremely important to know where you want to place your content 
so that it doesn't get too close to the edges of the pages or partially cut off. This can be difficult since the view on our screen can be different from the view that we see on the final product. This is where guides, rulers and margins come in handy. You set a margin based on the real world acceptable minimum distance from the edge. Then keep your contain inside that margin. Doing this will save you a lot of time and reliable results in better layouts. How to set the margins? First of all, when you are creating a new Adobe InDesign document, typically defaults to a margin of 3p0 pickups, which is equals to half inch. You can easily set the margins inside Adobe InDesign, but there are two conditions. Number one, if you are creating the InDesign document, you can scroll to the layout menu and assign the desired size of the margins, for example, half an inch or one inch, etc. Number two, if you have already created the InDesign document and now you have decided that you want the margins for your documents, all you can do is go to the document setup which is placed in the files and easily change the values of this margins preset. Note, if you want to assign different size to the margins, top, bottom, left, right, all you have to do is click on this chain icon, it will unlink these values from each other and you can assign values to each of them separately. I hope that you found this video very helpful and informative. Please subscribe to my channel and press the bell button so that you don't miss any future videos from my channel. Stay tuned for more amazing content. See you in the next video. Goodbye.